Hey everyone, Spooky Matt here, and welcome to the next installment of Alien Isolation. And we are in the process of needing to, or is it, yeah, find a compression cylinder to repair the elevator. Elevator, of course, being, well, I can't remember where it is now. It's it's further back where we came from. Um, but yeah, I want to address a couple things. First, it's 10 p.m. on October 26th, so... It's my birthday today uh, at 12.59 p.m. because I have my birth certificate and I know what time I was born. Uh, yeah, 12.59 p.m. I turned 40 years old. Pretty wild. Didn't do anything too crazy today. Had a nice home-cooked meal. Uh, got a pair of Vans winter shoes, which, you know, I, I love getting gifts that not only do I want but I also need them, like they're very useful. So yeah, Vans makes excellent winter shoes and winter boots if you're interested in getting any that look cool, but are also gonna keep your feet warm and that are, you know, reasonably priced. I mean, these these had Gore-Tec in them, so they, I think after tax they were $200, but I mean, you could easily spend more than that on some boots. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm happy with them. Um, and then, yeah, dinner was, uh, uh, my grandmother's meatloaf recipe. Like she's, she died years ago. Uh, but my mom still makes the recipe. <clears throat> That's her mom. Um, and yeah, she sometimes will take the meatloaf and turn it into burger patties. So we had meatloaf hamburgers and they just, it's just like having a burger, but way better. Cause it's the meatloaf flavor that, you know my grandma's recipe or whatever it's got like kind of a garlicky taste to it so yeah that was really really good really pleasant just me and I, I don't have any siblings so it's just me my mom and my dad and their dog brandy uh really intelligent but also goofy german shepherd um the only other thing i want to address is uh i don't know maybe if you watched the last installment, maybe you could tell, maybe you couldn't, but I was very frustrated. I was getting really annoyed. Um, and now that I've had time to cool down, I want to take back some of the things I said. I don't hate this game. Um, I, I'm actually mostly enjoying it. Um, I was actually looking forward to doing this recording, like I was counting down the hours in my head. Because now that I'm past that really challenging part, I, I can't wait to push forward and see what's next. But I'm not going to pull back on the criticism of the absolutely awful implementation of a save system in this game. Or, or it might be more accurate to say the complete lack of an autosave system in this game. Um, I don't know. The AI in this game is really, really good. But it's also it doesn't really give you too many clues like the game doesn't like what kind of vision does an enemy have like like vision distance draw distance or whatever uh how good are they with the, their peripherals how good are they with sound because there's times where i feel like enemies see me at a certain distance and then at that same distance with a different enemy they don't see me and i don't understand <laughs> what i'm doing right or wrong or if it's just random um and anyway, this is all leading up to the point I'm trying to make, which is you die, and because there's no autosave system, you get bumped all the way back and you have to do everything all over again. Last installment, and even the one before that, by the time we got to, you know, where I finally made it through the challenging parts, I wasn't afraid of the alien anymore. I didn't give a shit about the alien. I was more afraid of what was going to happen if the alien got me, and not that it was going to kill me or jump scare me, that I was going to have to redo everything all over again. That's what I was worried about. I, I didn't give a shit about the alien anymore. The alien really isn't scaring me in this game anymore. It's the anxiety of not wanting to die so that I don't have to reload and redo shit again. Um, I've heard chapters 5 and 6 kind of combined are really bad for that, so hopefully things get better from here. I think there's two more difficult parts coming up one around chapter 10 or 11 and then another around chapter 17 um but yeah this game would have benefited so much more from uh an autosave system kind of like outlast which came out a year before this game in 2013 because with outlast if you got killed 
the game would reload you right back in the thick of being chased by a scary man or a monster or whatever. And so that that was terrifying. It's like, okay, I know I'm going to respawn. How am I going to respawn? Oh, no, I got to start running. I'm right back in it. You don't get a chance to take a breath. Whereas with Alien, you go back to where you last saved, which is undoubtedly a quiet, safe place. And then you got to do all this annoying shit again. So you can try and not die, not get killed by an android or a alien or whatever. Anyway, rant over. I hope this installment goes better. I'm already enjoying this chapter or this mission way more than the previous two. So let's see if that continues. Let's find the cylinder. I think I can hear the aliens still in the vents. <coughs> so there's dudes down there, by the way. That's why I'm not bumbling around like an oaf. Yeah, I do not want the stun baton. Let's reload this thing. Although I really don't want to kill anyone if I don't have to. Okay. Synthetic fluid plant. I don't know where we're going to find a cylinder here. We definitely don't want to go to the left because that's where dudes are. There's something up there. If I want to go in here, or if I want to go up, I'm glad I went up, because there's a save point. <laughs> okay. That's the other thing. I don't know if the alien's alive in the level, or if that was just like a cutscene. Like, I have no idea. Okay, I can't do anything there. But at least I saved. You know what? I just saved. Ah, oh, never mind. This could be a bad idea. There's a fence. I don't want the alien to grab me. the requisitions android to access the components warehouse. Or 
restore power. So he must be a good android. Um, hmm. Why the hell are there so many save points now? <laughs> this is what this game needed. Last chapter and the chapter before. Nice. That'll work. Security tuner level 2. There's an ID tag. There's a dude with shit. We have to keep holding R. Okay. I was like, why did it only load uh, one bullet for me <laughs> before? sneak around this room when something becomes active. Oh, there's an item in here. Um, is there anything else I can make? I don't know. Not anything that I really want. Yeah, I'm worried that when I restore power that there's going to be bad androids in addition to the good one. Okay, I'm going to save again now that I've upgraded my little tool. I've been thinking about potentially redoing um, my Let's Plays so that they make more sense and I'm doing actual chapters and stuff instead of just playing for an hour. And I was thinking if I ever decide to redo this game in the future, I'm going to do missions. So one mission is going to be one playthrough no matter how long it takes. Oh. I did not see that. Molotov. This has got to be what ethanol is for, huh? Achievement unlocked. Made Molotov. Oh, construct one of each craftable item. Yeah, figured there'd be one of those. Save for the Molotov. The Molotov is an incendiary device which detonates on impact. It is lethal to humans and other organics, but synthetics are very resistant. So this is something I can actually use against the, excuse me, the alien. It's kind of bright, isn't it? <laughs> just like, I mean, it's just going to attract the alien, I feel like. Check this. No, please open again. 
So this thing... Oh, I can use it on that. Okay. Well, let me save first again. Why not? So funny that the people who made this game, Sega or whatever, they knew exactly what people were going to want after the past two chapters. They're going to want a break chapter. Oh, I need to enter one extra. Okay. And again, this is shit that I kind of find annoying. It's like, how are you supposed to know that the alien's not alive in the level? You just hear it banging around. All right, what's in here? Requisitions Android. Spedding, now you have fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging, so use the Requisitions Android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go, just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. I guess you already knew, know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Jesus. Elevator out. I just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theater. My guys have got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are in component storage row 1 stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions Android. Just get off my back. Oh. Utility's always an error. Last bidders. Smythe, it's Spedding. Smythe. You knew full well that these guys were the last bidders for Sebastopol's Apollo system. And you totally fucked the Android presentation. They're not interested. So no bonus for me, no half share for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sebastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, I kind of want to read these other logs that I just, you know, looked at. Tomorrow Together, number two. Siegson's journey into colonial space and official history by Sebastian Sieg first printed in Ion Siegson. Our remarkable growth... Sieg and Sun proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL, faster than light expansion, providing reliable components that could carry humanity deep into space. In so doing, it grew, and by 2066 was running vast manufacture plants in London, Buenos Aires, Nagasaki, and the Lunar Shikyard, Shikard, excuse me, and the Lunar Shikard Worgenton Frontier. That's a mouthful. By 2071, the year the Sieg family sold its shares back into the company, its expansion remained ex exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on with envy as Sieg and Son became market leaders manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment, and building materials. Towards the end of the last century came a move that would forge our shared future. Sieg and Son became Sieg Son. <laughs> we took on the name our customers had known us by for decades, and we turned to face tomorrow together among the stars. VIP visit. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? Oh, this is the audio one. Um, I've read that. So the other one was storage inventory. Russell, upstairs, want a full rundown of what we've got stacked in component storage. There's some useful stuff in there, some junk. No. Okay. Maybe it was just the VIP visit audio and the tomorrow together. Oh, this has no Stromo logs. By the way, I've not been looking at these. Um, Burroughs. Whitechapel. Corlander. Williams. Neville. Brophy. Brunswick. Tart. Kerwin. Anyway. Poison gas in there still. I gotta figure out how to get that out of there. Not sure how we're going to do it. Look at all this shit. It's like, do all the stuff in this area. Just do it.
Yeah, okay, alien, we get it. This. Is this the same code I just had? No, it's not. Form 10 successful acts. Okay, power's on it doesn't look like it's on. Well, I guess it is. There is a light down there now, isn't there? I don't think that light was there before. That's still a fart room, which is annoying. There was no way to get in there from here, was there? Yeah, okay. Definitely not. Alright, I hate to do it again, but this game is... Oh, no. I can't. You have to wait a while. You can't just keep spam saving. See what's out here. Ooh. Pretty sure I've been up there. Yeah, I don't I don't know if the alien's even alive in the level anymore. I really don't know. Sure doesn't seem to be. Very noisy. That thing is very noisy. So this, I think, is how I initially got up. So I hopped out of a vent and came up here. Dead end. I'm assuming the alien's gonna become a presence at some point. Just from looking at all the vents. This is what this game has done, is like I'm too nervous to just get up and walk. And again, not afraid of the alien, don't really give a shit about the alien. I'm more worried about uh, what will happen if I die and all the progress I will lose. O Sans Gomez. I'm gonna go ahead and save here again. So many game saves. do it. That must be what this game does, though, is, like, if you've saved recently, it makes you wait, like, a few minutes, maybe five minutes, three minutes, I don't know, before you can save again. It's 
funny when I was reading about like really challenging parts of the game somebody mentioned like the beginning of chapter 7 where the alien just kills a bunch of dudes and that must have been that part there because he was like he's just like I really didn't give a shit when the alien killed those guys I was like hell yeah see you later I need a key card for that door. Okay, one last save now that we're back where we want to be. God, she gets up there really clunky, doesn't she? And now let's go start this android. I assume he's not going to try and kill me, but we just don't know. I'm going to walk now, don't worry. At least until I get killed and then I learn to crouch again. That is a locked vent. Oh, okay, I thought that was another vent. Okay. Good sir. Now play nice. Please play nice, sir. Hello. Hi. How can I help you? I need a compression cylinder. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? I'm gonna follow you. I assume you will fight off an alien if it shows up. I love that. Just keep the noise down, man. Oh, look at you and your key card. I'm going to equip this just in case. dangerous though <laughs> I kind of knew that was going to happen but it's still funny oh Well, I guess we get our first puzzle, huh? Let's give it a go. Oh. Stuff. Ah. What? What was the point of coming in here? Nothing. There's nothing. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Maybe it's just a place I can hide if I need to. I mean, I might need to. What's this do? Sure. Can't do anything with that. Sorry, hit the wrong button there. Ah, oh, 
I see. That poor dude. I feel bad for him. There we are. Your compression cylinder. Will be found at the end of this row. What's in here? I don't want to see. Scrap that I don't need. More flipping scrap. It's just, it's just a dead end. If, they, if I if the alien shows up and I go in here, and he comes in here, I'm just fucked. So why would I even go in there? So that's the point of these. Why can't I grab this? There we go. That's the point. Obviously the alien. Do I really want to spend time doing this? Probably not. Because the alien's just gonna kill me and then I have to redo it all again. Where am I going now? Oh, the elevator. But before that, a save. Sorry if my head just snaps to the left or right sometimes. I'm not meaning to do that. Poor synth. What happens? You know what? Can I? I, I doubt this is going to work, but I want to try something. I saved. Did not work. Okay. I'm going to reload. I just wanted to see if that would take care of all the gas in that room. It doesn't work that way. That's okay. That's okay, now I know. God, that's so bright. Aliens gotta be able to see that and just be like, whoa. What the hell is that? How are you supposed to get in this room? I, you know, I have read that you do come back to places later in the game. Like, this isn't the last time we'll come here, so it's making me wonder. Okay, I want to 
want to be quiet here because there's definitely a vent right there. I don't want the alien to snatch me. Okay, and then we want to go to the right. No attention to me. Save again. Synthetic fluid plant. Objective completed. That wasn't too bad. But you know the alien's gonna show up. Why wouldn't he? Find the exit to the synthetic fluid plant. God. I love when you go in a new area and there's no map and it's just dark as shit. dudes up there. Absolutely gonna see me. They're gonna see me if I stand up there, right? Yeah, that just seems stupid. I'm not gonna stand. Keep your head together. You can do it. That's wild. This is interesting. Still haven't seen a map. Where do I want to be heading? Usually it tells you on here, like, oh yeah, go this way. There's nothing.
I'll take a save point. Still no lockers to hide in, so... Very interesting. It's on this terminal. Synthetic engineer request. Can I get someone from Seeks and Synthetics to look at my android? I've just worked a 24-hour shift helping out with trauma patients, and I'm the dentist. <laughs> uh, Waits wants every one of them moved out of the hospital, and no one is telling me anything. If I'm going to be pulling down these kinds of hours, I need some extra help. We've got an android down here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's been gathering dust because apparently the same model started acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell is going on with this place? Get someone down here now before I make an official complaint. Fernandez. Not sure what the point of that was. Seems to be kind of like an unused room, huh? Alright. Perfect spot for a save point. It's so crazy how many more save points there are in this area where there's really no threats, though. <laughs> oh, why? I'm a bit worried about just popping that door open. I don't like the idea of that. I'm also a little bit worried about just, you know going through this vent and popping out and somebody just seeing me immediately but because I could have swore that there were three of them and I only see two now to go to reroute any power so yeah all right well maybe in there Simed tower transit wow the seventh mission was incredibly fucking easy <laughs> I, I don't know man Yeah, there's Samuels. Use the lever. Make sure there's nothing over here. My device is invalid for that. Why? All right. Uh. With how many times I died and how long it took me to get by the alien. Oh, that's the way to San Cristobal. I don't want to go there. There is stuff in there. Why is this shut? Did they shut it behind me? Jeez, game, you want to give me a little more time, maybe? Can't imagine on hard mode. Oh, 
I ran into something that startled me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it actually kind of startled me a bit. I'm assuming the alien eventually shows up here because there's like vents and lockers and shit to hide in. Well, maybe not right in this exact spot, but. Oh boy. Strangers will be shot. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be. Hey! Identify yourself. Ripley. From the Torrens. Relax, kid. Marshall waits. Taylor. Please be alive, what the hell Taylor. What's going on here, Marshall? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. Hell yeah. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. Seeing as you screwed up the trap. Yeah, right. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. Are you all right, Ripley? Peachy. We really should hurry. Taylor. Don't worry, Samuels. We'll get her out of here. You realize coming aboard was a bad idea yet? <laughs> I wouldn't call the welcome friendly. God. You're an idiot. <laughs> you realize coming on board was a bad yes, idea? Me neither. Yeah, I think I, you know, figured it out when I saw the fucking alien. <laughs> okay. I don't remember when I started playing, this might be a good place to stop, but I'm going to go just a little bit further because I don't actually remember when I started. I think it was a little after 10 o'clock. Okay, so I can't get in there. I can probably get in there now for some reason that door's all of a sudden open. Or wait a minute. Oh, uh, no, that's not, okay, well... Fuck Siegson, yeah! Oh great, love this. Love this for me. You get into the dark spooky place seeing as you screwed it up. Hope there's nothing behind me, because I didn't... <laughs> X, okay, yeah, I can't go in there, I get it. I get it. How did I do this? Was it right mouse bumper? Oh, both of them, and then A. Haven't done that in a while. Good to know my tool's still handy. Wait, it's just here. Ripley! Just wanted to make sure you were going up that elevator. Where the hell am I going again? Trans oh, transit control. Cool. Okay, this is not a new loading screen. This is still this area. Why'd it just make the fucking... I doubt that's the alien. 
the alien at some point would be like, oh, I will uh, try to go in a different way. Got a feeling, though, it might be a little friend named Android. Sorry, Working Joe. <laughs> Android. Hmm. Alright, well, there's nothing to do here. Okay. Ah, oh boy, it's going to be one of these triple puzzles again, isn't it? Someone shut everything off. I know someone's in here. <laughs> Calm down in there, you android fuck. I went to a lot of trouble to secure this place. How do I get off this wreck? I remember the last time I slept. You're not going anywhere. <coughs> Show yourself and I'll make it quick. This place creeped me out even before it all went to shit. am I supposed to go? I don't know. <sighs> Cutting point. Point of interest. Yeah, I get that. Mysterious noises aren't my thing right now. <laughs> I really hope you're human. Whoever you are, I know you're here.
Yeah, he's definitely looking right at me. I want to look in this room. Should I be doing this? Probably not. I want to go in here and see if there's anything worth assault. Holy crap. There we go. It was worth it. Hell yeah, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to bob my head. Oh, hell yeah. Cutting torch. the android I was like you gotta be kidding me okay I'm gonna read these in the other room for obvious reasons I don't want to be locked in on okay cool um if we do this. Okay, restart transit. Listen, you crazy bastard. You think that thing gets around in a fucking transit car? You're sitting on an override that'll disconnect the transit from Apollo, so fucking pull it. You can stop all this bullshit just by pulling a lever. You think you're safer with the transit powered down? But we're trapped like rats. For God's sake, help us. And double-crossed. Got a heads up for you. Oh, sorry, Cooper. Got a heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing in with Sinclair and the Seeks and security guys. I told them it was you that killed Morrison. If they see you, they'll shoot you on sight. You should have let me join you in your bolt hole. You won't last a week. Okay. So I have a cutter... Why is this thing not working anymore?
This dude's gonna fucking see this as me. Good thing I saved. Jesus. Somehow, he didn't see that. Ripley, this is Waits. The transits here were waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. Oh, I'm guessing I was supposed to check the elevator, okay, and realize, oh, I can't go this way. Yeah, point of interest. Yeah, I can't go that way anymore, I bet. Okay. So I needed to do the thing. All right. Well, next save point, we'll save and quit. It's gonna be a bit of a long installment. That's not a save point. Gurs and Sinclair, we need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators. Plan is to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Yeah, okay, man. Door access. Oh, sorry. Okay, the door's unlocked, whatever door that is. What door is accessed? I don't even know. I just want to save the game. Hmm. I could just get on the transit car, but come on, someone will send help soon. Oh yeah. Yeah, I ain't going up there. I thought it was just one dude. No, it's like a fucking billion, so. Maybe 
he's found a better site to raid. Or a way off this fuck heap. That, and today's the day we finally seal ourselves into the habitation. Is that creature we'd be dead by now, right? Did they not notice this? Bye, buddies. Hell yeah. Cool, we did it. Well, that... The game is much better right now. Which is kind of sad, because the alien's not around. <laughs> I think it's just better because of the save points, so I don't think it has anything to do with the alien. Group with Samuels, Taylor, and the Marshalls. Well, I'll do that after I find a save point and return to this game later. Get to Colonial Marshall, excuse me, Bureau. Station serving the Solomon's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshall Bureau, and seeks inhabitation space. Cool. Definitely hear movement. But I don't think that's aliens. I think that's just the sound of all this shit. Okay. All right, well, let's save and call it an installment. That went much better, didn't it? <laughs> cool. And I think it went much better. I mean, yes, it was easier, but it went much better because there were more save points. So if I had messed up, I would have been okay. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm glad, I'm glad things are better. Um, you know, like I said in the last installment. Okay, lady. Um, like I said in the last installment, uh, missions five and six are looked at as being, if not the most challenging missions, then definitely top three. Um, partly because you're so new to the game and partly because they just are difficult. You know, you don't have all the tools you could possibly want to deal with the alien and you're trying to learn the game. But yeah, this went much better. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow night uh, for another installment. And looking forward to it. The game's getting very interesting now. So, yeah. Uh, glad I, you know, took some time away after the last installment and cooled off and thought things out rationally. It's okay to dislike certain things about a game and not hate the entire game. I should mention, though, before I sign off, uh, I was looking at review scores for this game from 2014, and there were some big publications like IGN and GameSpot. Uh, I think IGN gave this game a 5.9 out of 10, which is pretty damn low. Uh, GameSpot gave it a 6. I think some, some other place like GamePro or something like that, or PC Gamer, gave it a 7. Um, Eurogamer gave it an 8. So yeah, it's and, and the, the reason they got or the game was given such low scores by those publications. Same things I'm complaining about or that I've already complained about is uh, 
you know, the frustrations. Um, so it is accurate to say that this is the first good Alien game we've ever gotten. But it's not a great Alien game, or even an amazing Alien game. It is in certain ways, but not as a whole package. So hopefully when Alien Isolation 2 comes out, it'll shore up some of the issues this game had. But anyway, I've rambled for too long. This is hardly going to be a long enough video as it is. So I hope to see you again next time for more fun and exciting times in Alien Isolation. Bye for now, everyone.